Aquatic deaths are particularly difficult to investigate because your body's moving. We're working with very hydrodynamic environments, and depending on what environment the body's in, it's going to decompose at different rates, and different things are going to happen to the body that's going to almost mimic injuries that happen before death. Yet, despite all of these difficulties and challenges with a moving body, with all of these variables that you have to deal with, it's ultimately our job to investigate the death. And so at Simon Fraser University, my role is to support these efforts by doing research in two key areas. The first one is in looking at how human bodies decompose in different aquatic environments. And then the second one is in applying and using GIS and geospatial tools to actually find the bodies faster. So to detect the bodies, to recover them, and ultimately to try to prevent future deaths. And so part of what I do is I've been collecting data from every corner medical examiner office across Canada, uh, collating that information with Life Saving Society. And then what I've also done is pulled every single cell phone tower and all the information from these towers across Canada and put them together in a spatial way so that we can actually identify which areas are the hardest hit when it comes to drowning and how we can actually try to uh, create infrastructure that can mitigate those deaths. When we talk about the theme of justice for all, well, you can't have justice for all if you're not creating equitable access to educational tools and to this kind of water safety training or safety services. I'm so very thankful for the American Academy of Forensic Sciences and the Forensic Science Foundation for giving me an award so that I could present my research at the International Academy of Forensic Sciences. And this just happened last December uh, in Australia, in Sydney. Uh, this was so I could present my research on human body decomposition with the wider forensic science community. So this is a big effort so that we can actually mobilize the knowledge and the things that we have found uh, through my different research projects. I think the future of forensic sciences is inspiring. I think that one of the greatest strengths of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences is in the diversity of perspectives here. And that's not just to do with race or age or where they're from, but a lot of it has to do with even their professional background. When you're able to present some of your work and immediately get feedback from people from a very different field with expertise in other areas, you're going to be able to do better work. And I think that with the developments in AI tools and machine learning, and even in how we can uh, develop better infrastructure for how we store our data, I think there's going to be a lot more collaborations moving into the future because it's going to be easier. So I'm hopeful.